Uh, well, um, good evening once again. Uh, I'm sorry it's been such a long time since the last video again. However, quite a lot's been going on. So um, I've videoed a lot of stuff and again, I've lost some of the videos, so I do apologize. So this is just kind of like a, a catch up video if, uh, if, for you, for you, if you see what I mean, just so you know where I am at the minute. Uh, let me just change the camera. Okay, so this is where we are. So um, this is my next stage. I needed these bits, mirror, air fills, battery switches, frame. Um, I spoke to, to, to someone I know at the road in the body shop, lovely bloke, Chris, thank you very much. And he said, don't do it yourself, get it done properly. So he did it for me. Uh, anyway, I had to raise 450 quid and I'm skint. Uh, so I chucked a load of stuff on eBay and sold it, and loaded nearly everything I own now for the bike. So the next time we have to raise some money, we might be in a spot of bother. But I did it, I made the money. And so this is currently where we are. There's my little baby. That uh, frame looks fantastic, so they did an absolutely glorious job on that. Uh, he's painted a load of other little bits as well, so I gave him all of the bracket, fair, I've changed the fair in brackets. Um, and all of the linkages and things like that on the bike. So they painted all of those black and I've started rebuilding it. The engine, um, I did the engine just in matte black, just with tins. I did this myself in the garage. Um, just use some of this stuff, matte black. It says it's good for 800 degrees C or something like that. So I'm hoping that it will last the distance. Uh, and then just, did, just, just bought back the BMW and the um, uh, just a few stripes around the edge. Uh, my uh, my pump coming off, or, or rather the, the the takeoff for the oil cooler as well. Didn't paint that. But the engine looks fantastic. Love it. It's come up really well. Started rebuilding it. The forks have been rebuilt. So uh, thanks, Pete, for getting the forks sorted out for me. So they've been done, and I'm rebuilding it. So this is how she looks, and, and, and now I'm putting all of the right nuts and bolts and I'm cutting everything down, so just to give you a bit of an idea how she looks. So all of the linkage is being done, back brakes now all working, yeah, and she's, oh, she's coming together, she really is coming together. I've bought then, what have I bought? I've bought some switch gear. So I've got some lovely old switch gear. This is off an old Kawasaki, this. And uh, the bloke who had it has, has cleaned it all up and they look fantastic. <coughs> um, I bought these air filters. Look at these air filters. They're absolutely glorious. They're just stunning. And it's a bit excessive. But in the end, I had to pay it because it's come over from the States. Oh, lost focus. In the end, these cost me 70 quid, these air fillers. But I raised the money from selling bits of the bike, so it's not the end of the world. Um, oh, I've made myself a little cover for that because we're not using a speedo drive, are we? Shotgun casing. Don't ask why, I just saw it and liked it. Okay, um, so, so this is where we are at the minute. <coughs> the cars and that aren't bolted on properly. Lots of it is bolted together properly, but I'm still missing some, oh, well, I'm still sort of figuring out nuts and bolts as I go along. Uh, so, what else did we buy? Oh, mirror, look at my mirror. Oh, this is glorious, this. Look at this. This is like a work of art, this thing. Fantastic. So that's gonna go on. I'm only gonna have one of those on, couldn't afford two. <laughs> but I only want one anyway. That's beautiful, that thing. I'm in love with that mirror. <clears throat> so this is current state of affairs. I'm sort of slowly rebuilding it. I've got lots to do. It's taken quite a long time. I've lost some bits, which is driving me nuts. I've turned the place upside down. Lost some bits to the clutch, uh, which I've had to order some new ones, which is oh, a bloody nightmare it is. But they should be here in the next couple of days, so I'll finish building the clutch back up together. I'm in the process at the minute of just fitting the gear linkage, so I'm going to do that tonight. Um, I've got to straighten the front wheel. The front wheel's off centre by a couple of mil, or about a millimetre or so, so I've got to re-spoke that. Um, 
But yeah, she's going together really well. Now, I'm not going to bore you to death with videos of me just bolting things on the bike. So what I'm going to do then, the next video, let's just have another look at the air filters. Oh, love them. Love them. Let's have a look at what we can do over here. So we can cross some stuff off our list, some proper stuff. Clean engine, gone. Clean final drive, gone. Paint frame, gone. Air filters, gone. Rebuild front fork, yeah, done that. Ah, oh, speedo switch gear, yeah, we've got switch gear. So we're running out of things here. Now I have to, have to add another couple of little bits to this list, but we are on then. We're nearly on the numbers, aren't we? Look at that, wiring room, seat pad, paint tank seat. Yeah, okay. Front brake hoses. Um, we'll, we'll sort these out when it's a bit built up because we've got to sort the oil cooler out as well. So we'll do those at the same time. That'll be very soon actually. Cables and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I've got to wait for the clutch bits to turn up for that anyway. <coughs> Excuse me. Right. This is what we're going to do next. Engine breather thing. So, I've been waiting to figure out what I was going to do with the air filters. Um, to figure out what I'm going to do with the engine breather. So, we have to put something in there that looks okay. Okay. So the next video will be um, me making an engine breather for it, I think. So rather, uh, and what I'll be doing in the meantime, while that's going on, I'm gonna continue just to rebuild it and bolt things on it as well and get that kind of stuff done at the same time. But she's really taking shape. Things are looking good. I do like the switch gear as well. The switch gear is, oh, you know, it's all drilled holes all over my head, my head stop. We'll, this, we'll do that. We'll do a video on the on the, the head stop. I might have cocked it up a little bit, to be fair. But we'll worry about that later on. We'll do the engine breather next. Uh, but as you can see, I haven't been idle. I've been working away. And she is really starting to look pretty special at the moment, in my eyes anyway. Okay, so I will get back to you as soon as we get somewhere else with it.